This short video demonstrates how to use the iRising Myopia management device at home. First, unpack the device and place it on a flat surface like a bench or a table. The device should be used indoors only and is not to be removed when it is turned on. Your child should be seated and the height of the chair should be adjusted to ensure the device can be used comfortably. Connect the power adapter provided with the device to a power supply. Turn on the power switch on the back of the device. Press the settings button at the bottom right of the display screen to enter Wi-Fi connection information. This device will need to be connected to Wi-Fi for it to be used. Select Wi-Fi and enter the password to connect the device to the internet. If Wi-Fi connection is successful, there will be a green Wi-Fi icon displayed at the left bottom corner of the screen. You cannot start the treatment if the Wi-Fi is not connected. Next, press the return button on the display screen to go back to the user login screen. Enter your username and password provided at sign up to the trial and click the login button. The device will enter the pre-treatment mode after successful login. Now help your child adjust the hand wheel to achieve a comfortable position so that they are looking forwards and not arching their neck uncomfortably up or down. To do this, turn the knobs on the side of the device to loosen it and move the eyepiece up and down to achieve the desired position. After, retighten the knobs to keep it in place. This should be done so that your child is not straining their neck as they will be in this position for the next three minutes. Next, ask your child to look through the eyepieces with open eyes. If the child's eyes are closed, they will not receive the treatment. Press the next button to enter the treatment mode and press start to initiate the treatment. For the first use, please help your child adjust the distance of the red light beams between the eyes. Using the grey adjustment knob on top of the device, you can move the light beams to ensure the two beams merge into one when looking through the device. Make sure to ask your child if they are seeing two or one beam and adjust if necessary. If this is not possible, ensure the beams are placed where the light looks as bright as possible. For example, the red treatment light may look like this before adjusting. After adjusting the knobs, the red treatment light should look like this. Please ensure your child's eyes are open during the entire treatment. To keep your child occupied, we suggest you play a song that is approximately three minutes long, which they can listen to or sing along with while they are looking through the device. On the device, you can see how much time has elapsed since starting the treatment, and the treatment will cease at 180 seconds. This is visible on the display screen after pressing the start button on the interface. After each use, turn off the power switch at the back of the device. To keep the device in good working condition, make sure to keep it in a dry environment away from direct sunlight and radioactive sources. It is important to follow guidance from your optometrist and use the device twice per day with a four hour gap in between as per trial instructions. The device will lock you out from initiating treatment within four hours of the last session, so make sure to time your treatment so there is enough time in the day to fit both. We recommend you use the device once before school and once after school because this is an easy schedule to fit into your child's routine and allows the device to be easily used twice per day, five days per week. Your child will need to use the device five days per week in order to comply with the trial instructions and to receive maximal benefit. If you have any questions regarding the usage of the device or problems with the device working, please contact us at diemayo at irisinginternational.com or diemayo 0420 311 021.